Hey guys, so we have Juan Arango here with us, a very dear friend, amazing composer and also amazing guitar player. And uh, I thought of bringing him because I stumbled into a problem. I must confess, so I really like guitar. I kind of crazy about this instrument. And I also know that a big part of the heritage of guitar is blues. And when I'm saying blues, I'm not talking about jazz blues, which I love. I'm talking about... Blues, blues, like what he was doing. So the whole thing with bands um, is, is, is kind of far from me. Um, not in a, an emotional way, but just it's something that I never really spent time or enough time, I would say, to check it out. Yes, I transcribe a couple of things, of course, I listen to a little bit of blues, but not like this dude, not like my friend Josh Smith or, or the, the, the true blues cats. And I feel embarrassed because, embarrassed, I can't even say it. I feel a little embarrassed because I think it's such a huge part of the instrument. And I was hitting him a couple of days ago. I was like, man, do you want to teach me some blues? And he was very gracefully willing to. So what we're going to do right now is talk about bands within blues in three levels. And uh, literally Juan is going to take me some lines and, and just show me some stuff that he thinks it's good to start with, so let's do it. I gravitate, especially for soloing, towards guitar players that can make their guitar sound like a voice, yeah, or maybe a horn, yeah. And there's multiple ways to do it. Bending's just one of them, but yeah, just being able to get the notes in between the notes, just that little thing. I mean, that's huge for me. You know, that that feels like a whole universe of sound and and expression. It's like <laughs> Again, I'm coming from really jazz and for me I transcribe a lot of artists but mainly, you know, piano players and guitar players and horn players so there is less of the idea of bending. Again, right. it's amazing but just something that I, I kind of like long for and this is why we're here trying to yep. you know get that extra emotional expressiveness so if we're talking about level one what are some yeah what are some exercises so i can start diving into it yes so for level one i think it's really important before we do any flashy things with bands and any blue slicks yeah it's just we gotta make sure we can play bands in tune all right because the thing with bands is that the frets are gone you know we guitar players we rely on the frets for the notes but when we do bending it's 100 percent your ear right so you have to train your muscle memory so your hands remember how much how further they how far they have to bend right to so, get the desired note so if i go from d to e sorry from c to d and i want to bend the d to e so yeah like trying to memorize where this e is Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you you got it, basically. Oh, so I'm starting a group therapy. I mean, a group class. So, basically, there will be five to six students in a group, and this group is going to start in about two weeks from now. So, if you're interested, please check out the link below, and there will be an audition for this. So, hope I'll see you there. Let's say we are in A minor pentatonic. Now, my favorite skill. Favorite Everybody's scale. favorite scale, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do the, all the examples in A minor, A minor pentatonic, just for clarity. So you did the first one. I'd say that, again, make sure you can bend in tune, and I would probably start with some of the more quote unquote stereotypical bends that you find in a lot of uh, blues slicks and stuff. So you did it, that's the first one. So if you have A minor pentatonic, and you have the G string, C, D, you want to be able to bend to the next note of the scale, which is an E. Mm -hmm. And you got to make sure you get there in tune. And there it is. One second. A little sharp. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. And 
And yeah. do you do also to the half steps of like sure like trying to hit that? Yeah, absolutely. The half step, that the blues note right there is you gotta have the blues note in your blues licks. But yeah, I guess the philosophy, whether you do the half step or the whole step, just make sure you can get to the desired pitch so that you are telling the band what the note is and not the other way around. Oh. So just to like really simply, so okay, I'm taking the, the pentatonic. So would you take like literally from here, like so from C? Yeah, absolutely. So and then maybe ah yeah yeah those are hard. Is that the right finger? Yeah. That's how I would do it. Ah. And then... Ah. Or... I'm trying to hit that G. Right. So yeah, basically what, what you're doing is great. Uh, basically take every note from the pentatonic try to bend to the next note is that pentatonic. do you actually do that like from here to here like uh, yes I'm gonna say some of those are a little more rare uh, in terms of practical bands um, yeah you know I get allegedly. It. so I would I can you, you should definitely do that I would maybe start with some of the bands that are present in the G and B string at the beginning okay so really here like yeah starting from this okay Especially for the little one yeah so you got that D to E, a minor pentatonic band. You know, that's already, that's the beginning of a lot of blues licks right there. You can do. Yeah. So. That's it. Maybe I should. Almost, almost. <laughs> that that G string band, and then maybe the next one would be uh, the B string band, bending from a G to an A. Okay. Yeah. Um, right now, again, I noticed that I need to mute the strings a little bit, right? I was like, and I was like noticing some noise, so I, I right away like used uh, my my left hand, it's left, um, to to try and, and I guess also muting here. Yes, that's so like a lot of like kind of like sounds that are coming out if I'm not being careful, I guess. Right, right, yeah, muting it's uh, another big part of the of bending because these are all different ingredients that the band has because there's the bend on the way up but then also on the way down so uh -huh. you so those are think of those are as two separate things and you can play both or you can play just one or the other if you're filling this video out um the best way to support is probably patreon there's a lot of pds including for this video so please check it out thank you <laughs> So when I sh when I'm practicing it, should I do like um, like really bring it back to the same point? So yes. So being able to do up and down. 
then being able to do, this is really important because a lot of blues bands do this. Doing up, but then don't let it go down. Ah, but you're playing it with your third finger, like with the, the ring finger. I was playing it with my, my pinky. Should I do it with it? Oh yeah, I just did the G string one. Um, I am not very... Um, it, it's, it's fine if I do it like with my fourth finger? Yeah, honestly I'm not very... With this kind of thing, with bendings... My thing is, if it sounds good, then that's the right figure. Uh, I do, I, I bend both with my pinky and my, my third finger. But yeah, just to reiterate, the, the important ingredients are the bend up, and then the bend down. So, you can start making phrases with those ingredients. Yeah. For example, you can do the bend up and down. And finish it with just... Right. But then, how about this one? You bend up to the E, but then don't let it go down to the D. Don't even play the D. Just go from the E to a C. So... Exactly. So you just kind of mute it here, you kill it, and then you go to the next, so... Exactly. Let me think about how I do it. Yeah, I mute with my right hand. Just don't let it go down. Uh, not that you can't or shouldn't, but again, that's you should be able to comfortably do that, because a lot of bands, a lot of licks, like, say, this one, Wait, 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 show me that. Yes. <laughs> Let me play it one more time real quick. Yeah, slow. Yeah. And then... Yep, that's it. And then the only important thing, primarily for the first bend, is to never let it... Don't let it ah, go down, you know? just, okay. Out. And then... And then the real E. And the real E. The real E. Yeah, that's it. So... Yes. Play it, play it. Uh, I'll play it slow and then sort of like a full speed. Yeah. So very slow is... Nice. And then like more in like a real life scenario. I mean, you could play slow too, but I would play more like... Three, Okay, so this note I need to push a little more. Huh? Yeah, let me, let me see if it's exactly, and that's the hard part. Like that's level. So one. let's do it all together. This line exactly. Right. Three, four. Sorry. And three more. Okay, so so you hear it already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of fast. Yeah. And then the key is to have this note in your head. Like, go ahead and do it, and I'll do this. Do the, the lick. Maybe you hold the A for a second, so I can test if I'm messing it up completely or just approximate. Three, four. That's good. Let me try with the third finger, I'm curious. Three, four. I, I, I gravitate towards the... If I can bend with my third finger as opposed to my pinky, I'll probably do that. Okay. But that's just of how I'm used to, you know. Yeah. When I learned guitar, no one told me to use my pinky finger. So for years, I neglected it. So let's do a jam on level one. I'll comp a new solo and then you guys solo. All right. Three, four. Mm. Say it. Mm. 
Now you guys. Good job, you did great. <laughs> <laughs> Please check out Juan, he has the socials uh, in the description. He has a really, really cool Instagram with some harmony and theory, playing keys and guitar and awesome stuff, so check it out. Yeah, thank you. All right, so now we're at level two. Yes. What's happening there? Something like this. So if I heard this correctly, you were bending um, to the same note, but from two different places, right? Yes. So you were like basically um, just the beginning note of your bend is different, but the target note is the same. Yes. That is the, the important concept of level two is that the note that you bend from is as important as the note that you bend to. So for example, yeah. uh, let's go back to that level one example mm -hmm. of that uh, bend from a D to an E. Okay. Let me try, see if I still got it. No. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. So yeah, maybe the, that's the beginning of a lick. And in that example, we are bending from the D to the E, which makes it a whole step bend or a full bend um, but what if we bend to the E not from D but from D sharp or okay. E flat wow okay so basically instead of do yeah the, well that's C sharp ah uh, sorry uh, where, where do you want to go from D sharp from like the blues note ah okay so Exactly. Okay. So it's the same line, like if you write it on sheet music, it's the same melody, but I guess the, the grace note is different, the approach. So here's A and B. Um, one is bending from D. And this is bending from D sharp. Cool. I'm going to try it. Try it. Or... Exactly. Oh, it's really cool. And what about C sharp? Can we also do? Absolutely. That's one of my favorites that I don't see a lot of people do, uh, which is a crazy okay. note to bend from. Because if you if we think music theory for a quick second, um, we're in a minor pentatonic. Well, it could be a blues. Yeah. But even it, but this works too on a minor, just straight up minor concept, and you're bending from the major third, which you know shouldn't work. Yeah, it's pretty harsh. But yeah, but it kind of works. Kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. Uh, yeah, so and that applies for you know all the other bands. You know the, the B string band. You know or ah wow or right. Uh, how about we jam for a second on this? Let's do it and try uh, try to. You play solo, I'll play solo, and you guys play solo. All right. Well, I'll try my best. Let's do it. Let's do it. So.
Try to use that idea, right? Not just a jam, try to bend it. Level three. All right, so we, I started to understand the idea of bending. Uh, I'm definitely not in control of it, but at least I have some framework to practice it. So I'm gonna try and play the scale of the blues scale and bend notes and try to find different target notes and bend to them. What's level three? Yeah, so level three, I thought it would be cool to do bends uh, that incorporate more than one string. Nice. So some double stop, maybe even triple stop action. Ooh. Um, so one reoccurring concept in this few licks that I'm gonna show you and, and you guys to open your mind, you'll find that, say we're using two strings. We're gonna bend one string, but it's super important that the other one stays still. Uh -huh. We don't bend both, at least for these first few examples. So that's the first important technique. So can you play something so yes. I hear how it sounds? So the first that I think it's uh, an important one is what uh, rock guitar players we call the unison bend. Again, A minor pentatonic. We're gonna bend from the G to an A on, a, on the B string that we did in level one. But in addition, we're gonna also play the A on the fifth fret high E at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it starts with that. Right, so, and you can add it later if you want, that's cool too. But maybe uh. starting just both at the same time and then bend up. I do it, I, I use my third finger. Oh, okay, so. Mm -hmm. That's it. Wow, super cool. Probably. Yeah. Right? That's it. That's, <laughs> a, that's the good stuff. Yeah. And how do you practice it? Like literally just practice it? Yeah, li literally just Play practice it. It's the same in the sense of you have to do it enough so you develop the muscle memory and you remember how far you need to go with the bend. Yeah, and it's cool because you have the point, the note is kind of stable so you know if right. you're messing it up or not. So exactly. you hear it. Yeah. And when they're. Right. The sine wave kind of calms down, yes. you know, you're... The beating, yeah. Yeah, the beating. Totally. This one's super cool because, again, this is the cool thing about bands, that this might not look impressive written in sheet music because it's just an A. Yeah. But, it, but what an A. <laughs> what and, an uh, A. True. And it's cool because on the way, you're bending from a G to the A. So in between the G and the A, there's this whole journey of dissonance yeah and you choose how you know how dissonant do you want to be like do you you can do it fast but in tune or you can really like milk it and do it very slow uh-huh i love that so that's another big you know that's, wait let me try it let yeah. me try it there you go for it so so fast would be just like And would you hit the note each time so you get the... Yeah, or you both hit... strings. I guess you would always get to the A, right? You would not... Yeah. Okay. Um, and then would you kill it before? Uh, would you kill it when you get there? So like... Yes, definitely. Or would you take it down, so... Well, I guess the, the main point is that you should be able to do both and yeah. both are options, you right, know? Right, right, so, right. Um, like a... Or like a so it's 
So wait, uh, what would you do? Uh, yeah, just yeah, one very piece. normal pentatonic. We will run just to finish it. No, whatever. And the same thing, like taking the D, bending. So. Yeah, totally. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, that'll be the first one, and I love that one. And you know, with the distortion, especially. It's Wait, really, hit it, hit it. It's really yeah. Yeah, you get that. What did you just do? Yes. So I did the unison bend that we just learned, and I went up the scale. In this case, a minor scale. Okay. On so, the high E. So before so, we do any bands, just make sure you can just know where the scale is. They know. I know. All right. No, okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then to each one of those notes, you play with your index and you play the band. And, that, and like and a cool concept is I don't it doesn't matter what the note is that you're bending from if it's out of the key because it's so quick yeah it's just like a, yeah it's yeah like, it's almost like a, a color yeah yeah so basically <laughs> ish it. ish it. so nice what is that nice. what's what's happening there yeah. So this is another cool example, and we're starting to get into country music territory, a little bit country guitar, uh, but also rock and blues. Uh, so we're still in A minor pentatonic, although this is more a C major sound. And what I'm playing is uh, ninth fret, no, sorry, eighth fret on the high E, eighth fret on the B. I play both those notes with my pinky, a little bar, and then the very first band we did, the, the D to the E. So in that order. Yeah. And that's the only string you bend, and the other ones stay put. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. That's it. So, and you, okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you go back to the. Yeah. That's really nice, right? It's cool because it's uh, it ends up being a, a little triad, yeah, you know, C major triad that you're playing with bends, which is cool. Super expensive. It almost yeah. reminds me of slide guitar when you have like yeah, oh, that like, sound, right? Yeah, that. yeah. It's yeah. So beautiful. Love that. Okay, so the way to practice this for me, so I should like just do that and. Would you do it in other places, just like other other chord, like D minor? For, mm. for simplicity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just. And yeah. would you practice it in time? Like, how would you? Yes. Can you play it in time? For sure. Um, I'm gonna say the 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 challenge here is making sure that the strings that you, you're not supposed to bend, you make sure you don't bend them because the fingers wanna follow each other. So if you bend, the pinky might want to follow, but you, you got to make sure it stays there. Okay, and, and I guess I'm pushing with only my third finger. I rec Yeah, I so recommend. So you do all, right? Yeah, just, at least, yeah, at just least the that. second finger. Okay, so. Yeah. Oh, that's much easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. All right, guys, so, um, yeah, so I guess like when you're bending, it's probably obvious for most of you, but, but just like, yeah, I guess just support. Yeah. With the, the other finger, just so there's more power. Hundred percent. Two, three. Yeah. You 
you guys. And try to really use those bands. Thank you so much for listening, guys. It's been a pleasure. Uh, thanks, bro. Thank really you for having me, it. man. Yeah, of course. Appreciate and uh, thanks for showing me some blues. He's gonna play more blues with me now. Yes. <laughs> I hope. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so I can learn. I think just in general, I think um, it's always good to keep this approach. I think whenever we know something, it's cool, but there is so much to know about anything. And I think just trying to keep an open mind and knowing that we know very little um, and then there's a lot of people that know a lot of things that are really cool and I think just by asking friends um, you know colleagues whatever you want to um, kind of whoever you want to approach I think that's a great um, idea to just learn and try to to be open for that so do it amen and see you guys in the next video peace jam Thank